Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Skyrim Survival SMP. It has been a very long time and that is because 1.13 was super, super laggy and I could not record at all. So now that Optifine is sort of out, I'm using a pre-release of it, it's a little less laggy. Also I have like biome smoothing off or something. That's why the ocean looks so strange. Anyways. I just went on a huge mining expedition, and by expedition I mean I literally destroyed an entire mountain uh, and collected a whole bunch of cobblestone for me to use to continue building the base. You might be thinking, like a lot of other people, that hey, the base is already done, what else is there to do? Well, the top of the tower, this is it just cuts off, there's no roof, I need to finish that. So yeah, this episode will be me working on that. Alright, uh, we're back. I went and got some bookshelves so that I can successfully add bookshelves to my enchanting area. So, it's gonna be like this. Uh, my, I don't have my enchanting. As your assassin joined, that's nice. So I'm going to have bookshelves like this. Three. One, two, three. And I'm pretty sure it's 15 bookshelves that you need. So... Uh, I, I think I have enough. I'll just go grab my enchantment table. And place that up there so that I can actually enchant things because that's probably the most important thing that I could use. Uh, I am. Now let's see here. What can I... I can get up to 18, so... I'll add another row of bookshelves, and that's 24, 1, 2, 3, 30, sounds good. I'll add another one here just so that it's symmetrical. Mm, yeah, that's good, actually. Um, if, I, if I went like, yeah, whatever, I'll just keep it like this. Oh, and Ezra's gone. That's nice. Anyways, Eric Fassette was nice enough to let me steal some vines. So I can have mossy cobblestone on my walls instead of just boring normal cobblestone. Uh, so I'll just, I think vines grow odd naturally. I hope they do. I'll just place them there. Hope that they grow. Or, uh, if they have to grow on wood, then I'm screwed. Especially if it's a specific type of wood. Or leaves. Sure, I'll grow them here. And just place the vines randomly. Alright, so... I'm probably going to skip the next part of the building, but I'm going to start building up the turret on the top of this tower. Alright, so, the castle is finished see it from this angle it's about done the tower in the center still needs a little more uh, detail and texturing but other than that it looks all right As you can see I've got a huge flag up there that's the flag that I'm going to be using to represent myself this season uh, it could be made into a banner so that's why it's very easy to make into a banner so that's why I use this symbol anyways uh, yeah I'm gonna make this staircase go down into a mine and also another portal and I am right now I'm going to alter one of the turrets to be a brewing area. Like that one's an enchantment area, this one's going to be a brewing area. Hopefully I don't fail. So put this down. We'll put soul sand on every side. Uh get some nether wart. And let's see here. What else? I need to have a water source, but I can just have a single block of water be a water source, right? So I can, let's see here, just, I can just place down some water here. I don't need a cauldron. So if I go like, if I go like this, Just have some water like that. So it's 
not the most efficient, but it's symmetrical and that's really all that matters. And yeah, that's pretty great. Hmm. I have a shovel, why am I not using it? Alright, infinite water source just so that I can fill in the rest of the squares. Actually, this is not going to work on that side, so... So I'll just do this. Yeah, so it'll just be like this. Looks great, I guess. Yeah. That's the tower complete, or that's my castle completed. Uh, essentially. So, yeah. My next project is going to actually not be on my claim, it's going to be at spawn. So, to get enough cobblestone to build this, I decided to completely destroy a mountain. And I decided, hey, that mountain would be a good place to build something. So I decided I'm going to make a like a bio dome sphere thing except it's only a quarter of a dome and it's attached to some land it's going to be a mesa on the inside which will be easy to get the materials for because uh doc 671's claim is completely a mesa and he allows me to take whatever i want from it so i think now that that's over with i'm gonna start doing something else this chest will ever open. I have my flag. This is my flag as a banner right there. It's pretty cool. So what I'm what I decided to do was I'm going to create an outpost for uh, uh, for my kingdom or whatever on every claim in the map that I have permission to. So first of all, I'm just gonna try to hang these somewhere on my on the front front gate. Uh, how about there and. There. That's, that's, uh... There. That's better. I just need to get rid of the other ones. Oops. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I would say. So, I have... I have my banner, so I'm going to place one my banner down in every claim on the map so that I can have a place where I can claim I'll call my own in every claim on the map just for funsies. We won't really, really do anything though, it's just for fun. But maybe it'll come in handy or something. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna create a small area around it. And I think I'm going to place a reward in if the people, if the person whose claim I'm building it on finds the outpost, so I'm just going to put something in a chest and give it to them. Alright, so this is Doc671's base. As you can see, uh, I've made the, the shrine or outpost. It's, it's pretty cool, I think. And it has my flag. Uh, so, th I'm going to make it so that if the person finds it, finds it, one of my outposts, and digs let's say one or two blocks underneath the glowstone they will find a chest with some items for doc 671 i'm going to put this stuff a poppy leather and orange or orange concrete named orange because why not and so i'll patch up the ground there and za it is done if he finds it he will get a small reward Otherwise, this will just be here forever. Now, we'll, I think I'll go to It's Herox's base and make an outpost there. Actually, we're going to make a super sneaky detour. Eric Fassett actually told me that I wasn't allowed to put an uh, outpost in his claim because I didn't really need to, but I'm doing it anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's in the bottom of an underwater cave. And... I'm pretty sure he might not find it. Ah, uh, yeesh. How do I fix this? Shouldn't it already be water? Shouldn't it like be un already waterlogged and set it underwater or something? Yeesh. I guess I'll need to find water or something. But I'm 
you're 90% sure that if you light fire underwater, it'll not ignite, so you're gonna have to find a different way to do that. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm going to just make a normal outpost here. It's at the bottom of a submerged cave, but I'm pretty sure that Eric Facet does not watch my videos, so hopefully he won't find it, so don't go around telling him that this is here, or I will be angry and beat you up, but not really because I can't. But yeah, I'll just place this here, yeesh. Oh yes, the treasure that's down inside is my own head. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be funny. Let's see here. Remember, er, let's see here. I am sorry. Yeah, that's just, that's the only thing that's gonna, it's gonna say. And he'll be confused, maybe, until he re remembers that he told me, er, about the outpost idea. Uh, yeah, so, I'll just re-waterlog it and go to Herox's base. Alrighty then, we are at the right spot. Uh, this is in Herox's claim. He's gonna get some nice ice and some redstone. Cause why not? It's a little laggy here. Uh, he has a lot of mob farms. Uh, so yeah. This is in a super secure location that he will never find. Uh, yeah. Let's place a sign. Think of, of the children. Yeah, and I think that's actually where I'm going to leave off this episode. Uh, I know it's been a while since the last one, so I apologize for that, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.